Weed of the Week is a biennial. It's musk thistle. Well, we were talking about control methods here today, Brian, and I got thinking about back when we were kids, sometimes Dad got too busy on other things, and all of a sudden a musk thistle actually put a head on and started to make some seed. And I remember one time Dad said, get out there with a corn knife, cut those things off, throw them in a garbage bag, and let's burn them. We don't want those things going to seed in the pasture. Well, that was the one time that ever happened. After that, once I knew, you know, we've got to get these things under control early. If I saw a musk thistle, it was time to go. Okay, so here's the thing. With these biennial plants, they're going to look a little bit different quite often from year one to year two. In year one, they're going to be in what's called the rosette stage, so they'll stay lower to the ground. Their whole purpose for year one is simply to get built up and ready to go to survive that winter to go into year two. Now, in year two, it's called the bolt stage, and then the plant will grow tall. It will put flowers on, then seeds, and go to seed at some point later that year. Now, what Darren was talking about here is when you start to see that head on the musk thistle plant, a lot of people say, oh, I'll just cut it before it goes to seed. Well, you don't know if the seed is viable yet or not. And we talk about this all the time with weeds in general. Don't ever let them even put a head on so you don't have that risk that, you know what, some of those seeds there might be viable already. And our dad was very concerned about weed control. I mean, we are the weed of the week guys. Uh, so growing well, up, we just, we just haven't been the weed of the week guys on this show. We were the weed of the week guys before that. <laughs> right. So it was just impressed upon us from the time we were little kids that we have to control weeds if we want to maximize production of anything, whether it's crops or pasture grass. And we see these musk thistles out in pastures all the time, but there are good methods to control them besides going out and cutting them off with a machete. Well, the other thing that I'd mentioned too is understanding the growth stage is so important. That rosette stage is really critical. If you can get them in that first year of growth, they're much easier to control and you don't have to worry about them going to seed at all. The other thing is, if you're out in cultivated row crop fields, we just don't see musk thistles, and here's why. They're a two-year life cycle weed. There's no way it's going to survive out in a cultivated field. If you're cultivating, if you're tilling. So if you're a no-till or maybe strip till, maybe you do see some musk thistle out there. The good news is we've got great methods for control. If I'm out in a cornfield, I'm going to probably recommend status. That's my first choice. Almost any dicamba will stop musk thistle, though. You can also, in soybeans, choose extend soybeans. That would allow you that dicamba option. Or enlist. Or enlist soybeans, which would allow you a 240 option. So that would be good ways to control that in soybeans. So you think about that in pastures. Yes, you can use dicamba. Distinct is great. It's basically status without the corn safener for one third the price. You also have 2,4-D. Now, personally, I prefer Milestone. That's the very best option. Tordon is really good as well. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.